All right, let's talk about Silent Library, MTV's step into the world of game shows. Silent Library is, well, a game show on MTV containing of six contestants who draw cards and whoever receives the skull and crossbones has to receive a punishment. Even though only one person gets a punishment per round, they always play as a team and the money is made to be split six ways even at the end. The only way to fail a challenge is to make too much noise, which is indicated by this little meter right here, and that's pretty much it for the game itself. It was based on a segment from a Japanese variety show, Downtown no Gaki no Tsuke ya Arahende, which is why the host Zero Kazama is a Japanese man. More in him in a bit oh zero the first episode aired on june 15th 2009 with the last being only two years later on may 13th 2011 still they did get a good start with 15 episodes in the first season spanning across only a month talk about pushing episodes out it actually hit off so well that when the second season premiered they got a bunch of celeb guests like all-time low we had the kings ron jeremy asher roth forever the sickest kids jesse james justin bieber and of course the cast of jersey shore they competed for the same amount of money as usual, but it was donated to their choice of charity. The second season also ran for exactly one month between January 12th to February 12th, containing five more episodes, 20 in total, with the success of the first season still bringing MTV big bucks, and now season 2 coming out with a bunch of celeb cameos, MTV was starting to see the success of the show. Season 3 came to us on June 28th, 2010, and oh yeah, MTV just started going head over heels with the celeb cameos. We got All Time Well Back, Hey Monday, New Boys, the fucking New York Giants, like, everyone was coming on this damn show. It's really a shock to me that the Fantasy Factory crew never came to one of these, although Chanel would probably make them lose every time. The third season is also the first season that took longer than a month to come out, but not by much. It spanned all the way from that June to August 5th of the same year, with another 20 episodes. Since it was basically a month, but a, just like a tad longer i tried to see if there was something around this time that happened that possibly made them move like an air date back but i didn't see anything and last but not least season four which premiered on march 28th 2011 going all the way to may 13th though the most spread out season so far and we didn't just get 15 episodes like season one or 20 like two or three we got 30 episodes of this spectacular show only by this time it wasn't that spectacular even though it was only on mtv for a short time and so many new episodes were coming out in such a small span ratings were going down down. I mean, it did well enough to say on TV, obviously, but I'm sure you guys get it at this point. It's the same show. Like, a PG-rated Jackass stunts can only take you so far. I'm sure people were like, this is repetitive, and yes, you can argue every game show is repetitive because they have the same format, and that's literally the point, but in traditional game shows, the contestants are usually much different. Sometimes you got someone who really needs, like, any money playing against, like, a NASA engineer, and they can actually talk about themselves, or in general, they seem more into the game they're playing. Like, Silent Library barely lets you know the contestants, it's mostly silent, obviously, other than the narrator, who I cannot find credits for, by the way, and Zero, the host, and, like, 20-year-olds with a Pete Davidson vibe snickering. Like, they're not like, oh my god, I'm on a game show. You can tell they're much more excited just to be on MTV and possibly get a few hundred bucks for, like, an ounce a week, which I guess how I would be too, but still. So anyway, tangent over, MTV realized this was not going to last, and definitely rather fun stuff like Fantasy Factory, Wild and Out, Tosh.0, you get it. After a few months went by, November 9th, 2011, MTV officially announced the cancellation of Silent Library, but that doesn't mean the legacy is gone. If you guys watch MTV or have TV on casually in the background, you might have heard about it today's reruns, or you might have seen the reruns today on TV from time to time, usually on MTV too though, and now the whole show is available on Paramount+. Plus. Looking back at the- no, 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 not yet, there's still more. So the host, Zero Kazama, remember how I mentioned him? Well this guy, he's something else, let me just tell you that. In 2016, at the Manitow Springs Cliff in Colorado, Zero Kazama started shouting at tourists that they were all going to die. Literally no context, just showed up and started screaming. He fled the scene, then was eventually caught in a traffic stop for a DUI. So you know, he went on to do some pretty cool things with his life. Alright, now, looking back at all this, it's obvious it wasn't going to last forever, for many reasons, and honestly, now that I'm going back through it, I'm starting to think that MTV knew this from season 1. In just 2 years, 89 episodes of a show came out. Yeah, 89. That's actually crazy when you think about it, for such a basic concept. It's really perfect background noise when nothing else is on, or showing on TV that's interesting. It's a concept that will grab someone's attention at some point or another, from either just the punishment or the celeb cameos, and now they have like 90 episodes of a game show, they can do whatever they want, and replay for forever because it's so simple and so many different episodes and segments, the chances of seeing the same two episodes within a month on TV of each other would be literally insane. And that's pretty much it for the story of this quiet little show. In 2019, Eliza Koshy started a YouTube series of her own, remaking the game kinda, which only had a few episodes but amassed over 6 million views, so it's cool to know that something so like weird and sacred from my childhood is still staying around. And yeah, I appreciate you all so much, thanks for watching.